Do you want to be able to practice configuring M365 products and services, create projects to be able to put on your CV or on your LinkedIn, and have your own Microsoft 365 tenant for more than 30 days? Then this video is for you, as I'll be going through how to create your own demo tenant. Let me know in the comments if this works for you. Oh, and don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, cool. So let's go into the CD export tool and start creating ourselves a Microsoft 365 uh, demo tenant. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, well, first we're going to create a new tab. And what we're going to type in is CDX. Well, oh, do you know what? Just in case. Sorry for the mistakes. But yeah, CDX dot transform dot microsoft dot com hopefully i've spelled that correctly perfect and let's move that to the side i'm just going to accept for now right so what we're going to do is just sign in with the account that you want to do this with now normally this is going to as you can see here work with a work or school account and it's required for you to sign in so you can't use a personal um a personal Microsoft account like an uh, dot out or at Outlook, sorry, or you know at Hotmail, you won't be able to use those uh, those types of accounts. And normally, to be able to create a demo tenant, uh, your company it sh will, would probably be a Microsoft partner. Uh, so, for those of you who do have uh, an account uh, at a company or work account at a company that is a Microsoft partner, then this should be. Uh, available to you as a resource. So I can just click sign in and I can put in my details. Of course, I'm going to blur this. There we go. And then it's going to ask for MFA. Uh, we'll click no. Uh, I can't use that phone because I'm recording with it. Uh, so we'll use the verification code. Change it over. 673. Verify. And no, I do not want to continue to sign in. Right, so now we're gonna be uh, shown the CDX portal. So essentially the CDX portal is uh, the Microsoft customer digital experience portal. And in here you've got loads of resources uh, to basically create demos or simulated demos, as you can see over here um, on the bottom uh, for you to use normally with your customers. Uh, but what we're gonna be using it for uh, is being able to practice on the demo tenant itself. So we're just going to click X here um, and then what we're going to do is go to this uh, heading called my environments. We just click that. And as you can see, I have no uh, demo tenants created at the moment. So what I can do is click create tenant and it will take me to this page. And on this page, it will show you your current environment limits. So at the moment, I've only got one uh, tenant that I can create. Uh, for 90 days. Uh, so this can vary depending on uh, the type of Microsoft partner your company is. Uh, you can have, you know, maybe a, a year long tenant, uh, depending on your company. But yeah, I'm going to select 90 days on here since that's all I have. Then you can select the location. So you've got North America, uh, Europe, you know, Asia, United Kingdom, Japan, Australia, and France. I'm going to click, uh, well, I'm going to stay actually in North America and you'll see why. So let's say if I was to click United Kingdom, right where I am, you can see the content packs, which is basically the type of demo tenant that you're going to create. So that will come with a particular, uh, data, particular users, as well as particular licenses that you can have in there. This one only comes with the Microsoft 365 Enterprise demo content. So it will allow you to have basically a Microsoft 365 E5 license, if I'm correct. Um, and then you can just use that uh, within your tenant. So as you can see, here, 
Oh, well, and you've got some Office 365 E5 uh, licenses in there as well. But if I go to North America, you have got Microsoft Education demo content. You've got, let's say, if you wanted to learn mainly about Viva, here you would have, uh, I wouldn't say the whole Viva suite, but basically the Viva suite. You've got ones for Dynamics 365, ones for Microsoft 365 compliance, and so on and so on. So, um, depending on what type of demo tenant you want to create, I would probably always go for North America. So in this case, I'm just going to click uh, just the Microsoft 365 Enterprise demo content. Click Create. You just tick uh, the agreement of the terms of use. Click Accept and it will create your tenant. So you will just give it some time. Okay, so now we're back, it's, it's been loaded and I'm gonna go through just the left side first. So as you can see here, we've got the content pack, M365 Enterprise, location, North America. We've got the period for 90 days, um, expiration date, um, of course, will be 90 days, status complete, which means the demo tenant has been created. Uh, we haven't added any content add-ons. Uh, I don't think you can actually add any uh, content and odds anymore. Um, actually, let me check. So we've got additional content here. Ah, you can. So at the moment, with this particular content pack, you can add on the Intune Suite add-on if you wanted to add that on. And it explains here that it will replace the Remote Help add-on uh, for this license, basically. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click Cancel. And in here, you can put in notes. So let's say if you have multiple uh, demo tenants, that you've created, you can put notes in here to let you know which ones uh, are used for what, if that makes sense. And then on the right side, you have your admin details. So as you can see here, I've got my admin details, my admin account, uh, and it corresponds to the tenant name over here um, with after the at sign dot on Microsoft.com. Uh, and then with your password, of course, they've got it in stars, uh, but you can click copy and put that in. And then with your user details. So these are all of the users that are created in uh, the tenant already uh, once it's once it's been created by Microsoft. So as you can see here, you've got all of their details on here as well, as well as the unified password that uh, all of these users have. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is create a new private uh, browser window. So we'll just do that like this. Perfect, uh, to make this process a little bit more easy. And what we're gonna do is type in admin.microsoft.com. If I spell that correctly, I have. Perfect, so it's gonna get us to sign in. Then what we're gonna do is take the details from, um, for the admin account that was given to us. So. What we're gonna do is go in here, uh, copy the email, paste that in there, right? And then what we're going to do is go here, copy the password, paste that in here. Perfect. Now it's going to give us an option, or well, I wouldn't say an option. It's going to give us a prompt to basically um, set up the account with MFA. So that's what you're going to have to do with all of these demo accounts. So I'm going to click next. Okay, so it's done loading. So we're going to, well, if you haven't downloaded the Microsoft Authenticate app, this would be the time that you would download the Microsoft Authenticate app, whether you have an iPhone or an Android device. So. I already have it downloaded, so I'm gonna click next. Um, yeah, it's just gonna let you know you need to have a work or school account. So I'm gonna click next again. Right, so this is where I'm gonna take my phone, scan QR code, right. And I should be able to click next and it should be successful and prompt for a number. Perfect, so I've got that number in here now. So 86, click yes, perfect. Notification approved. So now I'm going to click next. My default sign in will be the Microsoft Authenticator app. 
that is all sorted now it should allow us to get into our tenant yeah it's a private window so i'm just going to click yes right and we have created our first demo tenant so as you can see here we have the main uh window in the in in, in the middle uh, let me just click next there perfect so yeah good morning mod administrator so that's the admin account uh, and your organization so it shows a, a pane with all your users and on the left you've got also all well if i show all you've got all your normal um tabs that you would expect so stuff like your users your teams and groups um billing uh settings and then all the different admin centers here on the bottom left if that makes sense and then on the top right you've got your account right here um you know you've got your cli um so yeah this is how you create a demo tenant um using the cdx portal.